Hey everybody, this is Jacob Gibbs with Mortgage Coach Software Support. Um, wanted to put together a video for those of you who are not yet familiar with using PowerPoint. And the reason we're putting this together is um, many of your videos, in order for them to be uh, a flowing and, and so that you can have kind of a script to follow, the idea is you want to actually create a PowerPoint presentation as a backdrop. Then you're going to go ahead and use your tip cam to record while your presentation is playing and then speak over it. Now the idea behind this is you want to actually generate a presentation with multiple slides and you're going to put these in order of the way you're actually going to want to pitch your presentation. So first things first, you obviously want to get together a title slide. So the idea behind this is um, you can actually start these out with different kinds of layouts up here by clicking layout. And right now it's on title slide which is perfectly acceptable. And you can feel free to edit this text by simply typing on it. Now you can use both regular text or you can use word art and word art actually tends to look a little bit better but um, if you wanted to use word art we can actually hit insert up here we can choose word art and it'll actually give you options for what kind of text you want to use so for instance if I want to do that let me drag my new title up here you can see that the new title slide looks a little bit better than the old title slide so I would definitely recommend using word art to kind of spruce up your presentations a bit now when you're ready to create a second slide you can go over to what's called the ribbon bar which is here on the left you can right click then hit new slide this is going to give you a brand new slide where you can actually put in a title here if you want to you can add images or text any kind of graphics you'd like here and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment for now I'm gonna make this a blank slide so what I'm going to do is go up to layout and I'm going to choose blank. That clears out all those little uh, th those data entry area areas there. So what I want to do here is I'm actually going to use a tool called Snagit and you can use a tool called Jet Screenshot as well. That's a freebie version of Snagit but uh, we've got videos on those ones as well so if you type in Snagit over in the video section it'll give you a, um, two videos actually one brief walkthrough and one more advanced walkthrough on how to use that tool but as long as you've got Snagit or an alternate tool for uh, snagging images on your computer I'm going to show you how that works. So for instance if I wanted to go to the Mortgage Coach Library and I wanted to snag images from let's say Jeremy Forcier's uh, PDF presentation here I went to the, the Mortgage Coach Library and you can see that it says up at the top here www.mortgagecoach.com community library you can get there by hovering your mouse over community and choosing library and what I did is I actually clicked on the Jeremy Forcier Keeping Current Matters and that opened up another window for me. So now this is a PDF presentation. So if I wanted to actually copy items from this PDF presentation into my slideshow, the way I would do it is first I want to isolate the page I want to use. So let's say for instance this one, this gets a lot of use. You want to go ahead and initiate your snagging tool so you can grab a copy of the image. So I'm going to go ahead and start up mine. I'm going to grab the entire slide here and then once I release that it should open up the Snagit editor and this will bring in my photo in just a second here and now I have options if I want to I can do things like add check marks or, or uh, arrows on it I can put in text there's a whole bunch of little cool doodads you can use up here on the left but once you've got your slide ready to go right click on it hit copy and you're going to jump back over to your PowerPoint presentation and we're going to go to that blank slide here. We're going to right click and hit paste. Now in this case it pasted an image over the slide and you can see it's actually just a little bit bigger than the slide itself so we'd have to do a little resizing to make this one fit correctly. You can do that by simply just dragging the edges of the slide and then I'll just recenter it and that's pretty good. So then now I want to create another slide. Now for this particular slide, let's say you wanted to use an image of the rate watch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull up rate watch and again I'm going to use my snagging tool and I want to copy an image of just the chart here. So in order to do that, I'm going to start the snagging tool and I'm going to select just the part I want to copy and actually let's just get the rate watch chart itself. And then once you grab that, this again will open up your editor and this one's particularly good because if you want to draw arrows at, uh, at trends and so forth, if you want to draw lines across these you can. Uh, for instance, if you wanted to put a line like this to show the progression of the market right now, you could do so. But when you're done with it, right click on it and hit copy. Then jump out over to your PowerPoint presentation and I'm going to right click 
and hit paste. And you can see that that's now pasted my image in there. Now, ideally what you want to do is you want to also include some title bars up at the top so that your client knows what they're looking at. You're going to be voicing over it in the video, but if they want to refer back to your presentation later, always a good idea to have some titles here. So again, in order to do that, we can go up to our insert section. We can insert a word, art, a word art or a header or footer or just a regular text box if you want to. I'm going to use the word art. So we would put that up here. Now you're going to keep filling in your slideshow with the elements that you want to show to your client. And you want to have a, actually a written format of what you want to do with this. You want to have a script ready to go. So ideally you want to run through your, your basic overview. Then you're going to go into the nuts and bolts of what you're trying to show your client and then of course you're going to wrap it up. So I'm going to add a new slide here and let's say I wanted to grab an image from my total cost analysis that I built for this client. I can open up the PDF copy of the report and let's say I just wanted to grab a section from the total cost. I'm going to start my, start my snagging editor here and grab what I need and I'll do things like circle what I want to highlight here then copy it and jump back over to your PowerPoint presentation. Right click and hit paste. And again you probably want to have some verbiage up here to explain what you're talking about. But now that's how to put together the basic idea behind the PowerPoint presentation. Now you can apply animations to each one of these slides as well. So for instance if I wanted to make and I would usually start with the second slide for this. You don't want your first slide to have animation on it just because you want to hit record and then run your slideshow. But uh, if I wanted to make it so the second slide just kind of fades into view when I'm doing my slideshow, and go to animations, and when you hover your mouse over each one of these animations, it'll show you what it does. So for instance, if I want to do kind of a downward scroll in, I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then for the next slide, if I wanted to do a different one, maybe an upward scroll in, I could do that. And each slide I click on, I have the options, and there's actually quite a few more of these. Uh, when you click the little drop down arrow, you can see that there's lots of different alt alternatives to use. But the idea behind these is you want to get this into a smooth flowing PowerPoint presentation so that you can play your presentation and then record your video. So what you would do is let's say that this is my, power my finished PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to save this guy and in this case I'm just going to call this one sample PPT and hit save. Now when you're ready to record a video you can actually use the preview button here to preview the animations if you want or you can click on slideshow up at the top then you can click on from beginning now this will give you an idea of what the PowerPoint actually looks like so for me I'm actually I've got it set up so if I left click it'll advance the slide so every time I left click it's gonna put in my new slide and you can see that the transitions were applied to the slide movements here so you can see it rolls up like that. And there's actually some advanced animations you can use to make things like the text jump out or just a particular part of an image jump out. But uh, we'll cover that in another video. But you can see that I'm just advancing through the slides and I'm recording my video and talking to my client. Now once the slideshow ends, that ideally should be where I finish my video. So if you have any further questions on this, guys, this has been just kind of a rudimentary walkthrough of how to prepare your first PowerPoint and how to apply some certain slide animations. But if you have any questions on this, feel free to contact us over at support, and we'd be happy to help you. Thanks a lot.